Oh, Connect. hello, welcome to Club Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yes. This is the real game. <laughs> Live up, boys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as you saw, I made a Club Penguin clone. A clone of the most legendary game ever to exist on the face of this planet. Okay, that might be an exaggeration, uh, but it's no lie that this game has left a big mark on the internet. But that's a part of history now. <laughs> F in the chat. F in the chat. Mm, anyway, this is not a history lesson. You're about to witness! This fool right here trying to recreate the magic of Club Penguin by making a Club Penguin clone. Let's go! I've always wanted to make multiplayer games. And in order to do that, you need to know how to do network <laughs> programming! <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm finally going to learn how to do network programming. It's always a good idea to start small, so I made a multiplayer Pong game. I am kidding of course, ain't nobody got time for that. Let's just recreate Club Penguin. Okay, that might sound bad, but if you think about it, Club Penguin isn't the most complex game. You can uh, walk. You can show different emotes. You can chat. How to get free puffles. Uh, okay. And not to forget, you can throw snowballs. Wait, I'm gonna draw a picture. No, Tantan, you made them disappear too quick. I can Guys, help, help you. me draw a picture. Oh no! <laughs> I got the left ball down. <laughs> Come on, boys, help me out. <laughs> Wait, what was I talking about again? Ah, yes, so let's talk about development. I started out by following a tutorial by Tom Wayland. I did his three first episodes of networking with Unity, and after that I was like, oh yeah, I got this, I got this. If you want to learn networking, his tutorials are really good to get started with. Anyhow, there were some smaller inconveniences that I would try to get away from. One of them is duplicated code. Okay, I'm not gonna get too technical, but, but let's just say, quick solution, make a sub-module with code that both the client and server share. I didn't particularly also enjoy the way you used a TCP client and a TCP listener. I feel like there should be a way to do the same thing with one class. So I thought I would make it myself. It is time to... Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to reinvent the wheel. Use another library, no. I'll make it myself, yo. My code will be much better than billions of people. My wheel will be rounder than you've ever seen. I need some caffeine. An hour later, then I realize, no surprise. There's already a library that does exactly the same thing I was building myself. So that felt like a total waste of time, but hey, at least I learned something. Cheers. Reinventing the wheel can be quite fun. And as you see later, this happened twice, this project. Anyway, I found a networking library called Enet, and it did exactly what I needed. This library is so beautiful. Anyway, enough talking about programming. Let's talk about graphics. We all know programmers are excellent artists. So after spending hours on a Discord call with a friend, I had successfully created my first Blender model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, animating this model was as easy as tapping a button. What magic is this website? Mixamo automatically rigs your character unless you add animations to it. It is so cool. I'm not sponsored by them, but, but if you sub subscribe, maybe they will. Uh, uh, yes? How are we supposed to emote in the game though? I could just make a bunch of ugly buttons on the screen, but no no no! It's time to reinvent the wheel! Okay, I wouldn't call this reinventing the wheel, but it's kind of funny because, you know, it's a wheel. Anyway, I want to have a pie menu because, well, who doesn't want a pie menu? Programming this requires a lot of pie. Also a lot of pie. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to make the most optimized, customizable, animationizable. That's the real word. Pie menu you have ever seen. I mean, look at this. Can your pie menu do this? Okay, I shouldn't get cocky. I spent three days making this, and it was worth every single minute. Why do I always reinvent the wheel? Yeah, yeah. 
Who am I kidding? It's fun. This is my first ever multiplayer game. So, who really needs security? This is what happens when you trust a client blindly. This is gonna be so bad. Oh no, you're gonna crash it, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh my I, god, I, look, at those, look at those movements. <laughs> Nice. Oh, man. oh my god. Get on the Oh my god, you're flying. <laughs> I mean, there isn't really that much you can do in the game. You can't interact in any way with the players. So you kind of have to make your own fun of it. Who the fuck? Who's Holy what the? Wait. How far can we go? There's only one way to figure it out. Oh, <laughs> not the edge. <laughs> not the edge, boys. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Maybe if we flap enough, the island will start floating. Look, here, here's how you do a roll. A barrel roll. Yeah. <laughs> I'm combining two animations. <laughs> it's the fall down one, and then it's the angry face, and then happy face. <laughs> I should make different icons. <laughs> Do we synchronize it? <laughs> so Beautiful. Better time how to play the game on the play the game now! <laughs> okay, listen. There are multiple reasons I will not release this game. Number one! The game... Kinda sucks! Number three! I... Wait, that was a number two. Number four! I have no idea how much it would cost to run a game server like this. You might not realize it, but it actually costs money to run servers. And I don't think I have pockets for that right now. Number five! The game is really, really bad. I know this point is similar to number one, but okay. This is my first multiplayer game. I'm just happy it worked to play online. It's really cool to have made a game that you can invite a bunch of people to and just mess around. This is not a part of the list, I'm just rambling right now. I mean, wait, I'm reading the script for the video. What's going on? Hey, thank you guys for watching. This was incredibly fun. Shout out to my subscribers. I read every single comment. And guys, the Tan Tan Mix shape is going to take some time, okay? How am I going to top this video? Uh, I made World of Warcraft uh, Flappy Bird online. Wait, that's actually a great idea. I, I don't know. Uh, have a good time, bye.